says Flitcroft. Finally cross in towards Clive Platt. Oh, good save from Lario. Well, the early opportunity for Clive Platt. And again up with the header. with the knockdown, Townsend with the early effort. And again, the Frenchman called into action, and again he produces a superb save. This is Duffy, he's found a bit of space, and he got a decent cross in, well he's gone for the shot, and I think Larry got a touch. And Frio. Rather playing Adams into trouble then. This is Simpson. And the early effort. Oh, what a goal from Paul Simpson. Well, he was on his debut. And will that goal put a dent in Plymouth Argyle's promotion hopes tonight, I wonder? Watton with the free kick, aimed towards Lee Hodges. Got up well for the header. Coughlin is in there. Oh, just over. Much the closest that Argyle have come. Looking to set Townsend away. Griffiths up with a good header. This is Flickcroft. Townsend away to his left. Trying the shot himself. And Lario having to get down to make the save. Just fancy his chances from here. He's hit it well. Jilk's putting it, and it's in there. Marino Keith. And will that be the goal that takes Plymouth Argyle to promotion? Well, it was Paul Watton's initial shot. The goalkeeper spilled it. And Marino Keith was there to turn it home. And Argyle could be going up. corner in, Jilks came for it and it's been turned in at the far post, it's Graham Coughlin and surely now Plymouth Argyle are on their way back to Division 2 and so fitting that Graham Coughlin should get that all important goal, he's been an Argyle hero all season. There's Weatherick then with the corner. Aimed towards Coffin again. And they'll come back for Jason Bent. David Frio not able to keep control. Strong challenge from Bez Weatherick. This is Frio. Oh, and the pullback not finding Lee Hodges. It has now. And that is game over. Lee Hodges gets number three, and the celebrations begin in earnest. The final whistle went with a convincing victory in the end. Promotion had been achieved and emotions spilt over. Great celebrations were to be held by fans, directors, management and players. It was a tremendous evening as Plymouth Argyle progressed to Division 2, still with six games to play.